Hello students, Mrs. Van Sickle here with a short video on how you are going to submit your verdict in the various cases of the people versus Mary Maloney. So first we have our daily slides and you are going to click on submit your verdict. And that takes you to Google Classroom and you will see some instructions here. Number one, watch the instructional video, which you are watching right now. Then you will click on the attached document below. And in doing so, you will see your name on here somewhere and the various courtrooms that you've been assigned to. Each student is assigned to three courtrooms where you're going to act as though you are a juror and submitting your input or your verdict in the individual cases. Then you're going to cast your vote or submit your verdict. And this is due by midnight tonight. It's worth 15 points to give feedback to your peers as to who had the stronger argument in the people versus Mary Maloney. So, we're back at our spreadsheet here that we've opened up. And if we go to our familiar trick of control F, you type in your name. Let's say I am Joe student. And there I am on the bottom. I've been assigned courtroom one, courtroom two and courtroom three. So I'm going to go to courtroom one. And that takes me to Flipgrid. And you'll see there are four different stances in this particular courtroom, not guilty, second degree murder, first degree murder, and a second second degree murder. So we're gonna watch this first video on not, to, not guilty. Mary Maloney is not guilty. Of and in the interest of time, let's just say that we've watched that video. We're gonna watch the second video. Mary Maloney is guilty of second degree. Taking in some good information there. Take notes if you have to. Mary Maloney is guilty. Again, you've, t you've paid attention to that argument. Mary Maloney is guilty of second degree. And that fourth argument. Some of you might have five. So you can see here, we actually have two second degree murders. And that's okay. You just have to decide if the second degree murder cases had the stronger argument, which one of those had the stronger of the two second degree murders. So now we're gonna navigate back to the spreadsheet. And at the top, you will see, click here to cast your vote or submit your verdict, which is a Google form. Select your class period, Type your first and last name. And again, you guys know you are proper nouns. You need to be capitalizing your names by now. And then which courtroom are you evaluating? So if you go back to the spreadsheet, if you have forgotten, Joe Student is evaluating courtrooms number one, two, and three. This first courtroom that I've been assigned is number one. Let's just say, I think second degree murder, the first example of second degree murder is in, I thought had the strongest argument. So I'm going to select that. And then for that first assigned courtroom, if your assigned courtroom had more than one second degree murder, which this one did, I had two second degree murders, one by Kylie and one by Isabella. I'm going to put that Kylie G was the second degree murder defense that had the stronger argument. And then down here, this is where you will state something specific about the legal stance you chose and explain why this stance had is the stronger argument. 
Oops, sorry. All right. So that's a sign courtroom number one. But remember, everybody has three. So then you'll click next. We go back to the spreadsheet. And I'm evaluating courtroom number two. Complete some different cases altogether. Second degree, not guilty. First degree, second degree. So again, I'm going to click through the various videos, all of them. I'm going back to the form that I've opened. And this is courtroom number two that I was assigned. In this case, I think it was not guilty not guilty by reasons of temporary insanity now because i didn't select uh second degree murder one or two i can put i need to put na there and then again your complete and elaborate explanation goes here moving on to my third assigned court case courtroom number three. Click on that. Takes me to Flipgrid. This particular courtroom has five stances. Second degree, not guilty. First degree, second degree, third degree. After I've watched all those videos, again, I go back to my form. This is courtroom number three. And I thought third degree murder had a really strong stance. And remember, if I'm not typing in a student's name in this section, I'm typing N slash A, it means not applicable. And last but not least, your complete and fully elaborated rationale goes here. Hit submit. And if you're thinking twice about it, you can go back and edit your response in any of those stances. But essentially, that's it. You're done. I'll take a look at your responses and I'll send out some type of an email to you all as to who had the stronger argument in each of those courtrooms. As always, don't stay stuck. Reach out to me if you have any questions.